So if you are a brand new golfer, or you wanna give golf a try, and you wanna learn how to swing a golf club and hit the golf ball, this video is perfect for you. Because in some really easy steps, I'm gonna show you how to swing a club and how to hit a ball. Now, if you're an already an established golfer or you're a long time subscriber to my channel, this video might not be perfect for you. But if you know somebody that is brand new to golf and wants some help to start things off, this will be great for them. So make sure you pass it on. So to start things off, we're gonna talk about golf clubs. There's two main types. There's a one with a massive head on it, hits the ball a long way. This is a driver. It's great to use, it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit hard to use at first because it requires more speed. If you've got one of those, that's great. You can give it a go. But ideally, if you wanna start things off, you wanna start off with an iron. Now, normally you get a set of irons from three down to a number nine. And that's where I'd want you to start. If you've got the luxury of having a full set or you've borrowed some off a friend or a relative, if you can get hold of a nine iron, an eight iron or a seven iron, they're the best clubs to start off with. They're not too long. They're not gonna make it too difficult for you. And also the benefit on the club, it's got loft. So it's got angle that helps the golf ball go up in the air. Now talking about the club face, this is where we're gonna start because we're gonna talk about how we aim and how we hold the golf club and how we stand to the golf ball first. So we wanna make sure that that club is aiming towards our target, making sure whether it's at the driving range or if you have the luxury of going on the golf course, that is aiming straight towards your target. That'll give you the best advantage of hitting it straight. Then how we hold the golf club. So now that I know my club face is going towards my target, whatever that may be, then we can take hold of the golf club. I'm gonna make this super simple. For right in the golfer, you wanna take your left hand, so the hand that is closest to your target, and we're gonna wrap the fingers around the back and place the hand on top, making sure your thumb just goes straight down the front and making sure that when your hand is on the golf club, you've got enough of the hand on the rubber grip. Nothing is kind of overlapping such as that because that's gonna give you no control. So just making sure that you can basically touch the end of your grip, that's perfect. It's as simple as that, that's the left hand. The bottom hand, your right hand, you're gonna do something quite similar. All you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap your fingers underneath where the extra grip is here underneath and then place the squishy bit of your thumb here just directly on top of your other thumb. You'll notice again how my right thumb is just straight down the golf club. Super simple. At the back, you can hold it two ways, like a baseball bat where your fingers are just on the club. And if you want to, if it feels comfortable to you, you can link the fingers in. You don't need to do that, but it, you might find that's that more comfortable. That's how we hold the golf club. I'm gonna let you know, it's gonna feel weird at first. If this is your first time holding a golf club, it'll feel a bit strange, but you'll get used to it. Next thing, how we set up to the golf ball. The main focus first is we're gonna have our stance the same width as our shoulders. So as I take my feet position here, just notice how my feet, how I've wide I've put them is the same width as my shoulders. And all we're gonna do here is stick your bum out, stick it backwards. Again, it'll feel a bit weird at first, but don't worry. We're trying to keep our back nice and straight so it's tilted over. And just to get the correct distance away from the golf ball, all we're gonna to aim to do is let our arms hang from our shoulders. Notice here I've got a little bit of space between the club and my legs. My bum is stuck out and I've got that nice wide base to give me balance. Again, a bit like the grip, it's gonna feel a little bit weird and different, but don't worry, you'll soon get used to it. And if you look around at golfers at the driving range or wherever you go and potentially practice for the first time, you'll see a lot of people doing the same thing. You might feel at first that you're sticking your bum out too far, but when you look at somebody else, everybody looks the same when they're playing golf. Next thing, how do we swing the golf club? So now we know how to hold it and now we know how to stand to the golf ball. The next thing is how do we swing this golf club around our body to create the best power, the most consistency and help us hit the ball straight. Now the things to bear in mind is the golf swing is a, you have to use the whole of your body, certainly your, your actual, the frame of your body. So the core, your hips, your shoulders, your torso. I think a lot of mistakes that I see brand new golfers make, and I don't want you to make the same mistake, is they'll only use their arms. Because sometimes when you look at a swing, you'll think, well, that's just surely just an, an arm action. Well, it's not. So once we've set up to the golf ball, I want you to focus on this. Just imagine for a minute, and I'm gonna draw a line here through my golf club and up through my shoulders. We want to make sure the club goes around the body 
following that line. Now to do that, we've got to make sure we turn our hips and our shoulders. We've got to turn the body and almost wind it up like a spring. Notice I'm doing a couple of things here. I'm focusing on keeping this arm quite straight and my back arm just bends, almost the elbow just folds inwards. So we're going to rotate the body, keep the left arm straight and the right elbow just tucks inwards. Again, it might just feel a bit strange at first, but don't worry, you'll get soon get used to it. Then on the way down, the idea then is just to uncoil that, sw that spring. We've created all the power and we're going to turn our body, our hips, our upper body towards the target. When we come to hit the golf ball, we're not trying to hit it with our arms. The club is going to help us. The club is going to get the golf ball up in the air. So you don't need to try and help it get up in the air. You've just got to create the power and get a good connection. Make sure we hit the club face. It moves on very nicely to our next stage. How do we actually hit this golf ball? I'm going to show you some really easy steps to get you going with hitting your first shots. So stage three, how to hit a ball. Well, we're going to start off first off with no golf ball. So just start off with a blank area. This might be a driving range mat, or even you can do it at home if you've got the room. And just practice getting the bottom of the golf club, brushing the ground at the same place all the time. So you've got your grip, you've, you know how to stand to the golf ball. You're now starting to turn the body. And all I want you to do is just turn on the way through and just brush the ground. Just notice there, all I'm doing is brushing the ground. I'm sweeping the grass. I'm not trying to dig a big hole. I'm not trying to chop down on it because that's not going to work. All I'm doing is rotating the body and turning through and just brushing the ground. Now, obviously I've done this for a long time, so it's fairly natural to me. When you first start off, you might not hit the ground. You might hit it too much, but just get a gauge and you'll definitely get better. Once you've got really good at that, pick up one of these, a tea peg. Wooden tea, plastic tea, it doesn't matter what it is. Or even if you go to a driving range, typically they'll have rubber tees in a driving range mat. Stick this in the ground or at the driving range, stick it, use one of the smaller tea pegs. So it's you know about an inch or so off the ground. And all I want you to do, this is the start off the first shots you're gonna hit, is do exactly what you've just done there when you're br brushing the ground. But instead, this time, just try and brush the tee peg. So we've got our setup, we've got our grip, we've got our setup position. We know we've got to turn the body. And all I'm going to do here is brush the tee peg with no real force. I'm not trying to hit this super hard. And you'll notice a few things, the way I turn my body, the way I rotate. But you don't have to worry about the little tiny features yet, the way I twist my foot. You don't have to worry about that, start things off. All I want you to do is get comfortable sweeping the ball off the tee and then once you get really good at that then put the ball just off the ground whether that's off the grass or on the driving range mat and all again you're going to look to do is turn the body sweep the ground and hit golf shots you'll see there i took a little bit of ground but that's okay once you get on the golf course you'll start noticing you will hit a little bit of the ground and take what's called a divot but again that's for another video down the line hopefully that makes sense if this is the first time you're ever going to pick up golf go through that guide watch it a few times go to a driving range have fun go with a friend whatever it may be you'll pick it up quicker than you thought and you'll really enjoy it golf's great loads of benefits not only to your health your mental state but also you make loads of friends as well guys thanks for watching stay tuned lots more to come and good luck with it and make sure you subscribe to see more videos to help you play more and better golf. We'll see you next time.